yourself opening up your knees, toes a touch. And, and breathe. Listen to your breath. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose for three. present in your space. This is your time to take care of your body, your self-care. Forget about your to-do list for this hour. Yes. 
first downward dog. And I'm getting warm, so. <laughs> it's deceiving. <laughs> we got company today. Oh no. Our buddies. I hope they stay over there. <laughs> oh, they, 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 they get very curious, especially during Shavasana. Oh. But they're our friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at them Look play. They're playing. Oh. Okay. I love it. Stay hill crazy. <laughs> Alright, so let's go, go ahead and come into our first downward dog and just um, pressing your chest towards your upper thigh. Spread the hands nice and wide, middle finger facing the mat, and then to bring the thumb in about a centimeter. Let's begin to pedal those feet. Go ahead and lift those heels, come on your toes, and just, all, and just slip all three. Into that forward fold. Bending those knees, we're going to send that left leg back into a runner's lunge. Pulling that right hip back, that left hip forward. Rising up, inhale, interlace the fingers. Exhale, coming into cactus. Inhale, right to both arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Back to meet to front foot. Forward fold. Back extension. Forward fold. Bending those knees, rising up, inhale. Interlace the fingers, reach up. Come on, stretch over to your right. Stretch over to your left. Inhale, like with both arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Forward fold. Back extension. Forward fold. Coming to your plank, slowly lower down all the way or halfway. Come into upper dog or cobra. Exhale, come into downward dog. Up. 
Exhale, swan dive. Forward fold. Back extension. Forward fold. Coming to your plank, foot and lower down all the way or halfway. Coming to upward dog and cobra. Exhale. And exhale. Okay, we're going to add on. We're going to go back to that. Um, this is what we're doing. We're going to stack the hips. We're lifting that right, right leg up. Take that right leg down, lift that left leg up. Take that left leg down. Walking your feet towards your hands. Forward fold. Back extension. Forward fold. Bending those knees. Sending that right leg back. Pulling that left hip back, right hip forward. Rise up, inhale, it's facing. Exhale, coming to cactus. Inhale, right both arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Back to the front foot, forward fold. Back extension. Forward fold. Bending those knees, sending that left leg back. Rising up, inhale. Exhale, coming to cactus. Inhale, right to both arms up. diverticulitis or uh, gastrointestinal inflammation uh -huh. the first week. Oh, wow. so you know how they had no AC in there? Oh yeah. And I'd be pouring sweat for hours. Oh, wow. My wife's like, you're not going to do this. So I, I, I was doing five to six of these per day. Wow. That's a and lot. I lost <laughs> mad weight. That's how we were doing. It's about overreacting sweat glands. <laughs> So we're going to put our, our hands to heart center. We're going to be adding on from now on. So we're going to go right. We're going to step our, our right foot back. So we're going to come right into warrior two. So making sure your, your left knee is towards pinky toe. We're going to reach back for sun warrior. Back to center. Come to that side angle pose. So lean up against that wall behind you. Two. Spinning that back heel up. High lunge, reach up. Hands to heart center. We're going to push off that back foot. And balance. You stay here. Or if you can, come into warrior three. Gently step that back foot back. Up, inhale, exhale, fold forward just on that front leg, and let's come for a twist. So, uh, rising that left arm up, come for your twist. Placing that left hand down, turn your front leg, back foot meets the front foot, forward fold, back extension, forward fold. Bending those knees, rising up, inhale, reach up, exhale. Stretching over to your right, stretching over to your left. Inhale, right to both arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So now let's do the left side. So we're going to step our left leg out for warrior two. So left knee toward pinky toe. Go Center. 
I'm gonna push up that back foot. I'm gonna balance, push up, balance, lift, that back foot. Keep the hips even. In your practice, come into warrior three. Let's spend those arms out in front of you. towards your hands, we're in our forward fold, back extension, forward fold, bending those knees, we're going to send that right leg back, so we're in that runner's lunge, we're going to rise up into place of figures, inhale, exhale, coming into cactus, inhale, right both arms up, exhale, forward fold. yourself fall back having the opposite hand support yeah. you and now all of a sudden you just are supported yeah. with one hand and the other hand that pose feels so wonderful i just i have to have my favorite one that's my favorite okay. okay so we're going to go ahead we're going to come into the um to warrior two again so we're going to step our right leg back coming into that warrior two again making sure your uh your left knee towards left pinky toe right back coming to that sun warrior Back to warrior two, reach forward, come to that side angle pose, flip against that wall. Make sure you're not punched forward. <laughs> Take it back to warrior two, spinning that back heel up, bring that high lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to come into that balance. Push 
picking up that back foot coming to your balance. That back leg. Four feet in your practice and lift the arms out in front of you. Gently placing that back foot down, inhale. Exhale, go ahead forward, forward up on that front leg. We're gonna come for that twist. So um, lifting that left arm up for that twist. Placing that left hand down. Okay, we're gonna come into a high plank here. So taking that front foot to meet the left foot, we're in a high plank. So making sure your shoulders are stacked over your wrist. Belly blends the spine. Okay, let's find some movement here. So we're just going to tap our shoulders. So tap your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming back into downward dog. We're going to walk our feet towards our hands. Oh, okay. Because yeah. 
you know, they talk about how if you're purely stretching all the time, that's wonderful. But those uh, muscles also need to be able to resist. Yeah, exactly. You know, like the counterbalance of everything that you do. I mean, right. You can't just be super bendy. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna throw through that slow one more time, and then we're gonna make it more stretchy at the end. Okay. So inhale, exhale, forward fold, swan dive. your plank, slowly move it down all the way or halfway. Release your upper dog recovery. Inhale. Exhale. Downward dog. So we're gonna ride that uh, right leg up, stacking the hips. If rock star is in your practice, practice your rock star. Coming back to that three-legged dog. Placing that right leg down. Lift that left leg, left leg, stacking the hips. Add that rock star in there if you have that in your practice. Coming back to three legged dog. Placing that left leg down. Walking your feet towards your hands. Forward fold. Back extension. Thank you. 
to your right. Okay, last set, warrior two on the left hand side. So stepping that left leg back. Just say it. Because <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> and everybody just speaks up and they're like falling with me. <laughs> yeah, you gotta focus on something. I'm like saying focus on something and I'm not doing it. <laughs> I guess I got can't look at you guys. <laughs> but it's hard. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's do the other side. So find which, which one works for you. Sit into that chair. So one side may feel different. So now we're gonna take our left foot on our right knee. Sit into our chair. Bring out, hang out here for a few breaths. Just bring my chest up. If you feel balanced, you can rise your arms up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Check it out. We're practicing another balance. Um, like on the ground, you can feel like the bumps under your feet. <laughs> it makes it harder, but it's good though. All right, so let, let's uh, let's see if we can come into uh, dancer pose. So this is my right. So this would be your your left if you marry me. So start with your knees together. See if you can balance here. So 
look in the opposite, you have opposite foot, opposite arm. And if you feel balanced here, you feel good. Make sure you're focused on something. See if you can balance forward fold. So pushing that uh, foot into your hands. So you can open up a little bit more. Nice, nice. Focus, focus. Three, five, whoops. Four, three, two, and one. Very nice, good balance. Okay. All right, to the other side. So I'm gonna grab the opposite foot, opposite arms up. So first find your balance. Start with the knees together. If you feel good here, can tip over, pushing that foot into that hand. That's for five, four, three, two, two, and one. Oh wow. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> All right. I surprise myself sometimes in this place. Like, oh, wow. Because I know how it was like way back then when I first started it. And I'm like, wow, I'm improving. I'm getting better. I can't go for, because uh, it's supposed to be like the, the top of the foot, right? Mm -hmm. I can only go ankle. Oh, the ankle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah, you have, you have to change it up and modify a little bit. Okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and come into um, a yogi pose. So just dropping those hips down. Yogi pose. Um, so while you're here, try to keep your chest up and see if you can use your elbows to open up. Open up your, uh, there you go. Open up those hips. Um, you can uh, find stillness or you can find some gentle movement side to side if that feels good to you. shoulder open it up and see if you can look over that shoulder okay all optional things for you Just do whatever feels good to your body okay if you're doing the bind go ahead to the other side yeah some people can touch their hands i'm not quite there yet <laughs> i'm like a modified bind Or pulled in for two, three. Keeping your head up, activate your abs more. 
If it's too much for your head up, put your head down. Keep the abs nice and tight. Hang in there. Thank you. 
left foot is facing the sky. Right, so one side may feel different, that, that bottom foot is less towards you to the back. to change things up a little bit you know so sometimes I, sometimes I feel like this is like a deeper I get like a little deeper stretch but but think about dropping that left knee to open up yeah. that's then, for hammy um, I'm, I'm feeling it like I'm feeling it on my hips so you're probably feeling it in a different place <laughs> yeah everyone feels it different depending on, on, on your, your tightness but this is like a great hip opener for me really deep
this one I have a hard time really getting into the you know, heat. So again, uh, think about pulling that left knee out to the side. try cow face pose. Let's do another a little hip opening here. So uh, for this one, so just placing, what, you want, what, you, what you're looking uh, to, to do is to stack the, the knees on top of each other. Okay, so that, it might not look this way, <laughs> but get as close as you can. So the knees, and, and the feet are flat, so those are the ears. So you want to try to get the knees stacked. So this might be your pose here, that's probably all you got. Um, if you want a little more, you could forward fold over that leg, over those legs. Inhale, exhale. Yeah, and I love to do hip openers. That's one of my um, problems I have. I'm like super tight. And I totally feel this in my hips. Inhale, exhale. Thank you. 
your fingers, pull your shoulders back and down, and I want you to be very careful with this one because this is your your, your neck, your head, so so watch me first, so just, just take your time, and then you can also use a block if you need to, so pulling your shoulders back and down, so you're just going to flip your hands um, over your head, just take your time, flip your hands over your head, stretch. the center, the other side. Then turn your gaze towards your shoulder. Last side. 
high stretch. So dropping that one arm to the side and then opening up your ribs, packing it, packing open those ribs to the side, keeping both sit bones on the floor. One last side stretch. And then rising both arms up, last side stretch on the other side. Both arms up, inhale. on your day, may you find peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, and peace in your heart. My heart to yours. Namaste. Namaste. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh. That was so I feel nice. brand new. I feel like <laughs> oh. That was so nice. Thank you. I just, I just appreciate I'm able to move like that. You know, every time I practice yoga, I'm just so 